Why do you stutter? Now, I'm not going to tell you the reason why you're stuttering and someone else isn't. Why you're a person who stutters and why your brother isn't. Why your friend isn't. I'm not going there. I'm going from accepting you stutter. You're a person who stutters. Why do you, con why do you continue to? What makes you stutter? Because I'm also a person who stutters. And my stutter used to be on and off severe. So I'd go through weeks and months with unable to get words out. I, and when I would be in those states, I just wouldn't talk. So I'd be so ashamed of speaking, I would just be silent. I'd, I'd, I'd go for days. Some, some, some times where I just wouldn't speak at all. And oh, just like at the family dinners, sitting down, just being fucking silent with tension, just fucking tense straight up. And then how am I, how am I able to speak now? Not having how, how do I put it? Like, I still stutter from time to time, but there's no shame to it. There's no negative emotions. It doesn't make me feel less than, and it hasn't ever been out of control. Like, I've always had control of it. I've always had the awareness of it. I've always, like, not always, like the past three years since I've overcome it, how have I been able to do that? And what have I learned about stuttering that you can learn right now? Why do you stutter? We all stutter for the same reason. I know that's a big claim, but it's gonna make sense for in a second. With exceptions to the 0.5% of people who stutter, who have had a brain injury, and their stutter doesn't fluctuate. Well, I mean, of course it fluctuates a little bit, but they don't have good days and bad days. They just stutter and stutter and stutter. Friends, families, dogs, it's all the same because of a brain injury. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the vast 99.5% of people who stutter, who have major fluctuations, who have good and bad days, who stutter around people they value very highly and they stutter less around people they're very comf very comfortable with and don't feel like they need to impress. The reason why you stutter, the reason why everyone stutters in that, in that range, 99.5% is because of tension, is because you're tense because of tension in the body and tension in the mind. The mind and body are connected. So if your body's tense, your mind is tense. And now you may have heard that before or you may have not have. But in my understanding, placing myself back a few years, if I heard someone say it's due to tension, I'd be like, fuck no, that's not true. If it's due to, I already know when I'm gonna stutter. I'm more, I know when I'm in my head, I stutter more. I know when I'm feeling more anxiety and stress, I'm stuttering more. When I'm anticipating, I'm gonna stutter more. I already know I'm gonna stutter. It's not because of tension, it's because I'm in my head. And it's the exact same shit. The reason why you're in your head is because you are holding on to tension. It's because you're holding on to past negative beliefs about yourself that make you feel like it's unsafe to express yourself authentically. So you tense up and you hold back. It's because of past traumas that you're still holding on to that flare up, that make your, your, your brain and your body get put into a mode of fight or flight freeze or fawn. I just learned about that fawn. So that's, that, that's not me. 
Flight, flight, fight, freeze, or fawn. It gets you put into that state, those traumas. And any time you're in that state, you are, are, are you fucking relaxed? Are you a yogi? Do you have no ten? No, you're fucking tensed up. You are very tense. You're in a panic state when those traumas are getting put up or getting brought back up. And when group situations arise and you know, holy fuck, I've always done bad with this in the past. I'm gonna do bad again. People are gonna laugh at me again. And you're holding on to all those triggers. You're fucking tense. And what happens is when we walk around tense, do we get looser or do we get more tense? Probably based upon your your habits you have right now, you're getting more tense. Because what most people do is when they feel tense and they're not speaking how they want, they're not expressing themselves naturally, they go into distraction mode. They play a lot of video games, they play, they watch a lot of YouTube, they go to porn, they go to Netflix, they do any drugs, do anything to distract themselves from the real, reality they're living in because the reality they're living in is fucking uncomfortable. You're always tense. And that's when you stutter the most. When you're tense in your mind, you're tense in your body and the tension really restricts everything. It restricts your airflow. It tightens up your, voc your vocal cords. And that's why like plosive sounds like plo, like a lot of air has to come out to speak in the words, you will have a harder time saying because you're so fucking tense and the air just can't come out. And it's like your brain, all, your brain already knows that before you even try to say it, when you just think about it, your brain is like, I can't say that word. I, dude, you fucking cannot say that word. You're so tense right now. You are so restricted. You're so tight right now. This word can't come out. You, you can say a different word. Uh-huh, yeah. But no, this word can't fucking come out. And then also some words may have some trauma with it. It doesn't depend on the airflow it takes to come out, but just because you've had tra traumatizing experiences with these words cause you to tense up. And also if you just fucking think about it a lot and a lot and a lot, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to say the word and you tense up thinking about that word. So it's all due to tension. And now overcoming this tension is what the journey is all about. Speech therapy takes the way of working on the speech and giving you speech techniques and, fluent, and fluency shaping, but that's fucking bullshit. You, you don't need that, you can already speak fine. Even when I was on and off stuttering severely, I could still go into my room and speak fine. I would stutter from time to time because I was so fucking ashamed of it and so, so in my head, but I would speak fine. I would express myself fucking freely. And that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. And that shows you that the most amount of tension is coming from the opinions, the, the value you're giving others opinions of you. Because when you're in a room, you get to speak fine. But when you're not and you're with someone that you value highly, you're fucking tense because you care so much about what they think of you because you have such a negative relationship with your stutter. I wish I saw this video five years ago, six years ago when I was fucking locked. <laughs> couldn't, cou couldn't say anything, didn't know what to do. I thought speech therapy was bullshit. I thought speech techniques was bullshit because I can already speak fine. And it just took a few, a few years of my own self-discovery and going through different programs, not about stuttering, but about everything else, about confidence, about self-esteem, about building your self-worth, about everything else but stuttering, dating. I went through it all and I came to realize this. And this is the fucking truth. So if you want to overcome stuttering by addressing the real tension, addressing the traumas you're holding on to, addressing the value you're placing in other people's judgments of you, 
so you can express yourself naturally and free like you're in a room by yourself, then it's your fucking lucky day. Because, not day, I've been doing this for years. But if you're watching this right now and this is resonating with you, it's your lucky day. Because I help people do exactly that through the same process that I went through to be where I am today. And now I've helped over 55 people who stutter express themselves freely in the past two years. You can look at all the testimonials on the U on my YouTube or on my Instagram if you want some more more want some more more want some more motivation. But the truth is, this is the shit. And the longer you procrastinate to work on this, the longer you can be sitting in this fear of regret and shame about yourself and that's not a way to live so if you want to address stuttering authentically click the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me we'll hop on a call we'll analyze your situation and we would see if we would be a good fit to work together all right so click on that link and i'll see you on the call i love you and i'll talk to you soon